Hi, if you're one of the many people that worry when presenting or doing a talk in public that the audience are gonna think something negatively about you, so you're worrying about what the audience is gonna think, then stay tuned because I've got a fantastic solution for you in this short video. Hi, I'm Mark Rhodes and welcome back to Massively Improve, the channel that helps you to massively improve your presenting and public speaking. No matter what stage you are currently at, you can absolutely learn to deliver presentations that your audience will love and you'll enjoy doing, even if it's something you currently dread doing. It's absolutely true. I know that because I made the massive change myself. Yeah, so a lot of people over the years have come to me for help with public speaking and presenting and they worry what the audience will think of them. They're worrying about what other people will think, what the audience will think of them about their presentation or them in general. So the first thing I wanna talk about in this short video is when you are worrying about what the audience is gonna think of you as a presenter. Now this comes up time and time again with clients that I help. And as an example, here, here's an example. Um, one lady I was helping, she was a young architect and um, she was gonna be doing this presentation uh, at an event and in the audience, she said to me, there was gonna be about 80 other architects. They will mainly be men. And the average age of the audience, she believed is gonna be around 50 years old. And her big worry what was going through her head and was putting her off of doing her presentation, she was thinking that all these guys in the audience, these older guys are gonna be thinking, what can this young woman tell us about the world of architecture? She's obviously much younger than us. We've got a lot more knowledge. Why should we bother listening to her? Now, we don't know if that's the reality. We don't know if any of them are gonna be thinking that at all. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. But this scenario comes up time and time again with the people that I've helped. You know, it could be that, you know, I'm a guy and I'm really young and I've got to talk to this audience. They're mainly older women or the other way round, or it could be about their nationality or it could be about the fact that English isn't their first language. So many different things where people are worrying that the audience is going to think something negatively about them when they're presenting or public speaking. So the best solution that I've ever come up with for this situation is exactly what I helped this young architect lady with. So as I was saying, she's worried that she's young and that this is going to be a room full of men. They're all middle aged and older and they're going to be thinking, what does she know about architecture? What can she teach us? You know, now we don't know if that's the case. As I say, they may not be thinking that at all. But the fact that she thinks they might is making her worried, nervous about doing her presentation. So we need to fix it. So I said to her, you know, the fact is we do, don't really know what they're thinking. We don't think they're thinking negatively, but because you believe that, we've got to sort that out. And the best solution that I came up with her is, I said, look, what you need to do, it's a bit like in sales when we're selling. You know, if we think the customer is going to have an objection, we raise that up front. So I said, what you need to do is you need to raise that in an interesting, funny, or informative way at the very start of your presentation. Because that will serve two purposes. Firstly, if anyone in the audience is thinking that, it's going to maybe change their mind or at least get them to suspend that thought and judgment for a while until they've seen what you can do. The second thing that that's gonna do is it's going to make you relax because you know you've put it out there. So she said to me, well, what do you mean? How do I do that? I said, well, maybe you start your presentation like this. As you're walking up, to the front of the room. You simply say something like this to them. I'm really excited to be here this evening. Now I know that you guys in the audience have got a lot more years of experience of architecture than I've got, but I've been specializing in this really niche area and I've made some amazing discoveries that have helped architects just like you to have far more success than ever on their projects and I'd love to share that with you this evening. She thought that was amazing. You see, what we've done is we've put it out there. And what that means is that now she has said to them, if you're thinking this, 
you need to stop thinking it because I'm going to share some great things with you that are going to help you, even though you may have far more years experience than I've got. So that was a great solution for her. There's many, many other types of beliefs, if you like, that people have about themselves or the audience or what the audience is going to think of them. You know, a common one I get, which I think is actually easier to address than the one I've just described, is when people say, I think people will think my content's boring. Well, make your content interesting. If you think people are going to think your content's boring, make it interesting. And the best way to make it interesting is to include stories or worked examples. And you can do that with any topic. I've seen it done with absolutely any topic. But the main point of this video is to address the fact of when we're worried that other people are going to think something negatively about us as a presenter or we're presenting. And the best way to do that, as I say, is to raise it at the very start of the presentation and raise it in an interesting, intriguing or even sometimes funny way so that it is out there and you can then focus and get on and enjoy your presentation because you have taken that objection, whether it really exists in their minds or not, you have taken that objection out of the picture. So I hope you find this useful. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, like, and leave me a comment or question below. If there's a particular objection that goes through your mind that maybe you want to um, address or deal with, and perhaps I can cover that in a response to your comment, or maybe I can cover it in a future video. If you're not currently subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And if there's a bell notification on your device, hit that as well, so that YouTube will notify you that I've released a new video. I release a new video every single Sunday to help you to massively improve. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.